Hello student, in this video, we will be learning about channel capacity. See the next point is channel capacity. Channel capacity is denoted by C. What is the units for this channel capacity also? Bit per second. In the previous we seen information rate also units bit per second. What is the difference? Is nothing but the number of bits generated by transmitter per second will be given by information rate. The number of bits carried by channel per second is given by the channel capacity. This is also bit per second. Are you getting my point? So channel capacity C will give you the number of bits carried by the channel per second. According to Shannon, if you don't want, or according to ourselves also, if you don't want any information loss, don't want any information loss. For no information loss, what should be greater? C should be greater or R should be greater as a general thing. C should be greater than or equal to R. The carrying capacity should be more than the number of bits generated. So if C greater than R, then there is no loss of information. Now here itself we can also bring another point that is called students channel efficiency. What is channel efficiency? is denoted with eta. Eta is nothing but R by C. You can write percentage if they are asking into 100 you can write. The number of problems also coming on the channel efficiency. Channel efficiency means R by C. And if you don't want any information loss, C should be greater than R. And here the number of bits generated by transmitter is given by R. The bits carried by the channel is given by C. Here there is a one theorem is there that is called students channel capacity theorem or also called Shannon Hartley theorem. Channel capacity theorem or Shannon Hartley theorem. What is the channel capacity theorem or channel Hartley theorem will give you? Channel capacity theorem or channel Hartley theorem will give you C equal to B into log, of course, B is to 1 plus S by N. It will give the relation between channel capacity and bandwidth of a channel. When C is channel capacity, B is bandwidth of a channel in hedges. S is the signal power expecting at output of a channel. N is the white noise power adding in the channel. Both are in terms of watts only. This S by N is normal value. Are you getting my point? So, where S is the signal power expecting at output of channel, N is noise power adding in the channel. That is L to white noise we take. This is the formula for channel capacity. Very, very important. Are you getting my point or not? Let's take on a simple problem for your clarity. Calculate the capacity of a channel. If bandwidth is given 5k and signal to noise ratio value in decibels are given 15. 15 decibels are given. Now we need to calculate the channel capacity. Generally what the students will do the mistake is simply C equal to B into B is given 5, of course 5k let's take generally kilo hedges. So 5k into log 2, 1 plus 15, 1 plus 15 is 16, so 2 power 4, so 4 5s are 20, it's a blender. Why? Because the given this value is normal, not in the decibels. Decibels means signal to noise ratio, that is called 10 log S by N value is 15. Then S by N value is 10 power, 10 comes this side, so 1.5. Then substitute there, C equal to B value 5K into log base to 1 plus 10 power 1.5. Then how much you will get is approximately 25 kbps. That is the thing. 
That is the way of calculation of the thing here that given this is a normal value, not in the decimals. For showing that simple problem, I take it. So what do you need to remember here? What is channel capacity? For no information loss, C should be greater than R. Channel efficiency and channel capacity, zero. Are you getting my point? Further details will forward. Clear? Yeah.